Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. Today I'm bringing you a video of one single boot. A boot that I am extremely proud to have, something that represents true and the top tier craftsmanship that I can buy with money, my money. Today I'm going to be talking about Carol Christian Pohl. Carol Christian Pohl is one of those brands that like a lot of people kind of look at and really kind of see as very intimidating to get into and I understand why but I was fortunate enough to get a pair and I would love to talk about why I love Carol Christian Pole or CCP and then at the end of the video going to be the review over it so let's get right into it but before that if you are coming back to the channel Thank you guys so much for your support. Our channel is growing so, so fast, and I really do appreciate every single one of you. If you are brand new, thank you guys for clicking, and if you like what you see, I hope you consider subscribing. So, let's get right into it. All right, so CCP. Just going to give you a little bit of background information. I know information is a little hard to come by when it comes to CCP, but I will try to kind of sum it up. And it's basically more so going to be my opinion than me actually spitting facts at you. So CCP, a pretty elusive man. He seems to be the mad scientist of fashion, and he thinks of himself as less of a designer, like a fashion designer, and more of an actual artist, which I completely agree with. I think that everything he makes is actually so well done. It's really impressive. It's a great, great, great brand as that's representative of a lot of artisanal designers. And honestly, if you get into CCP, it's extremely expensive, but the quality you get in the craftsmanship is amazing. Now, I was first introduced to the brand CCP uh, via a lot of other YouTubers, a lot of other influencers out there, and it was primarily Owen Hyatt, Sanjeev, Jacob Hetzer, Garrett Wilson, and a couple of others that are in like the whole like social media influencer space but they i saw ccp on them first and to me it was like a goal to be able to get something from ccp and thankfully i'm able to say that i actually have something from ccp now so this austrian designer is rather unconventional in, in his methods and he has proven himself as a master of design and spares no expense in the production of his products for example he uses top-notch leathers tailoring techniques and methods that are so unique that not many other brands even try to do what they do and many of his designs can be considered considered very iconic a lot of what you can kind of see that's like really popular is like the rubber dipped soles of shoes as far as I know, CCP is the first one to do that. Pants that were constructed from one continuous spiral cut of fabric. And a lot of times you'll also see like jackets that have like metal at points of articulation, like in the uh, elbows or attached gloves that have like metal in the knuckles. It's weird, but it's really cool. Another one that's extremely common that a lot of people kind of really kind of look at and want as a piece is the uh, military vest bags. He He's not the only one that uses them, but he definitely is someone who made that whole silhouette extremely popular. So not only has he made clothing, but he has made some truly, truly outlandish things such, I mean, I can't name them all. There's just too many, but some truly outlandish things that he has made is that I have seen a picture of a like piglet bag. It is literally a pig, just a little piglet, and in its original form he just made it a bag, which was really weird, kind of off-putting, really strange. He's also made jewelry from prosthetic eyes as well as prosthetic like teeth with gums. Again, very strange, not really something I'm interested in, not something that I want to purchase, but interesting nonetheless. CCP isn't one of those that everything is really welcoming, everybody can get into it. CCP is very much that artisanal designer that is extremely niche and only people who are willing to invest the money in his pieces are really going to like truly appreciate and see in person. The goal of many CCP endeavors are meant to challenge what we consider normal everyday products, whether that be clothes or jewelry or really whatever else. The clothing is often meant to be uncomfortable, unconventional, maybe not the most functional and purposefully fragile sometimes, 
so that the wearer will always be aware of what's on their body. So in a way, he's designing and creating things with the product in mind more so than the wearer, which is super interesting. A lot of designers don't really do that. A lot of it is really focused around the wearer, the customer, whereas CCP is making clothes for the sake of making art. So when wearing a lot of CCP clothing, the wearer must conform to the clothing as opposed to what most business models are where the emphasis on, is on the wearer being comfortable. So in my eyes, he embodies the concept of anti-fashion and continues to do so to this day. He's been around for quite a long time, I don't know exactly how long, but he doesn't follow any specific fashion calendar. He very much just releases things when he feels that they're complete, which I think is so admirable and one of the big primary reasons why I think he's more of an artist than a, a clothing or fashion designer. As much as I'm absolutely fascinated by this brand as a whole, I actually can't wear his clothing. I, I don't have the right body type for it. A lot of his clothing is meant for very tall, very skinny individuals where I am just simply not that. So since I understand that about my own body, I don't try to buy his clothing. What I really can only see myself purchasing and wearing are his footwear as well as maybe his jewelry if I feel so compelled to do so. I'm not going to try and interpret CCP's meanings or anything like that, but more so I just want to tell you exactly what I think about CCP. And what CCP is in my head is just this rep is, is representative of the epitome of craftsmanship, attention to detail, and just so much attention to the materials and construction of something that it really is something super fascinating to see. I am so very proud to have my own pair of CCP boots. This probably isn't going to be my last, there are plenty more that I want, but being so expensive it's going to be very difficult for me to build up to that. Cool. If you want to know more about CCP, I'm not the one to go to. I don't know very much about CCP. I'm still in the learning process. I'm still gathering information, but I very highly suggest exploring David Mosier's channel. He definitely has some CCP in his collection that he talks and knows very much about, especially knowing more about leathers and whatnot. So definitely check out David Mosier as well as Karsten Craning. He does a little bit more of interpretation of CCP kind of, and then one of the biggest collectors on YouTube that actually owns his own collection of CCP is Barry Oi. Definitely, definitely great guys. Videos are amazing. So definitely watch those dudes. They can give you plenty more information than I ever could about CCP. All right, and finally, I hope that wasn't too long, on to me actually showing you the boots themselves. They're not the most popular iteration of CCP boots. The, usually the most popular ones are kind of the Tornado Zips. I definitely want those one day. But this one is going to be the CCP from the Safe Collection wrap, wrap boot, I think it was called. And it's really easy to see why. There's a piece of leather that wraps your calf and it actually just like looks so cool. I know a lot of times I wear my pants kind of over the boot, so it kind of covers the biggest, the most detailed part of the boot, but I love the boot nonetheless. It is made of horse leather, so it is very thick, very kind of unforgiving, very, very, very stiff. So I haven't broken them in yet, but they're so, so very beautiful. It is in this kind of, in some areas brown, in most other areas kind of gray. And what I think is so fascinating about this boot is that this right here, this little clasp, it's just held together by this aged looking elastic. So if you take that off really quick and you basically undo it, the boot kind of opens up and unwraps. And on the inside is actually this really interesting indigo blue on the inside of the actual leather. So. All you need to do to put them on is just wrap them around and then secure this onto the clasp. And that's really all you need to do. So as far as I can tell, there's really only one bit, little bit of branding and that's going to be this 
CCP as well as safe that is embossed into the leather itself. And then on the bottom here, I ha I actually got a size 7. The sizing is very strange for CCP, so buyer beware. If you are going to get a pair of CCP boots, I would do your research and make sure you know what sizes you're getting. From my research, I saw that a 6 or a 7 would work for a generally a size 9, so I went with a size 7, and that size is going to be right there, right there. Really hard to see, but this does have a Vibram sole as well as a Vibram heel, just to make sure the boots last much longer. They don't usually come with them, I don't think, but it is always nice to make sure that your boots last as long as possible. Oh man. There's not much more I can say about the boot because it is so very simple, but it is, I'm so proud to have them. Super happy. Oh man, are th I've worn them a couple of times. They're not the most comfortable boots, but with an insole that's very easily fixed. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about the boots that I picked up. To a lot of people, I know that CCP can be pretty intimidating to get into because of both the price point as well as the community itself, or some people who are very much into CCP can be a little bit particular about CCP related content, but I hope this was a, a decent introduction to you seeing a little bit of why I love CCP so much. Definitely, it's definitely a whole lot better in person and I can't really describe it all that well. But if this piques your interest, I do very highly suggest that you do, you do your own research and just kind of look into the brand and designer himself. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you think CCP is overhyped right now? Do you think that these boots suck? I mean, the shape is a little strange, but sometimes strange things end up looking really cool. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below or through my DMs. I appreciate your time. Thank you guys so very much. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you do. So until the next video, I will catch you guys later.